We're uh, here on our first night of uh, Trailblazers, and we're showing so many films, and, and people at home may be saying, oh, but they didn't mention this person. And <laughs> It's the tip of the iceberg. Yes. Because, first of all, 80% of all silent films are lost. Yeah. But it's also just a fragment of the number of incredible women who were making movies during that time. Like Alice Guy. Uh, tell me something about Alice Guy. Well, Alice Guy is more than just one of the first women directors. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was one of the first directors, period. Mm -hmm. She and her employer, Leon Gaumont, who made cameras, mm -hmm. went in 1895 to the first screening ever of a film in Paris, mm -hmm. the Lumiere Brothers, you know, workers coming out of the factory. Right. And she was so inspired by that, she asked her boss, mm -hmm. well, can I try to make some of these movies with mm -hmm. our cameras? And he said, well, as long as your secretarial duties don't suffer <laughs> and you do this afterwards, sure. Right. Well, two years later, Alice, who's now in her maybe mid-20s, is named the head of Gaumont Film Production because she's the only one producing the movies. Mm -hmm. And the film that we're going to see, I mean, I've read that it's, it's sometimes called the first narrative feature. It may be the first narrative feature. Well, the films up till then were workers leaving the factory. Right. Uh, wave crashing the ocean. Mm -hmm. The sneeze, which is another classic first film. Right. One guy sneezing. Mm -hmm. So you see the movement, but that's it. The Cabbage Fairy is considered the first narrative film because it does tell a little story. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. And then her, her next film, she goes into it, bigger budgets and, and tell us some, about some of that, the film, The Birth, The Life, and The Death of Christ. Well, and that is about, what, seven or eight years after. Mm -hmm. So we, we see the development already. Now, it's going to look like a play because the camera stays in one place. Right. But what made this so different is there were like over a hundred extras. Mm -hmm. The detail attention to the sets, the costumes. Actors are walking in and out mm -hmm. of the screen, which is new in 1906, mm -hmm. believe it or not. It's not just turn it on, people stay in one place and act like a play. Mm -hmm. So it is vignettes. But this in 1906, this was the biggest hit that French filmmaking had ever seen, and it was Gaumont's big blockbuster. Mm -hmm. And then I also read that she did a film with the first African American cast. I mean, she was very. Oh, innovative. she's making. She's trying everything. And remember, these films often are. Well, this is they're almost 30 minutes long, but most of these films are 10 minutes, one reel mm -hmm. long. And so you're making a couple of films a week. Mm -hmm. So you have so much time to learn, be innovative, try this, try that. And as short and as little as The Cabbage Fairy is, you do get a sense of what a woman's gaze can do to a film. Yes. Well, Carrie, here we go. I'm so excited to see from 1896 the TCM premiere of The Cabbage Fairy, followed by The Birth, The Life, and The Death of Christ from 1906, directed by our first trailblazing woman and the first female director, Alice Gee.